Alright, here's the deal. The show is yep. called Oldie But A Goodie. Uh-huh. We've got to start recording. Yeah. Yes, and we've got to keep talking until it hits an hour long. If we what? stop talking at any point, the thing I'm recording it with will crash. Oh no! <laughs> we can't have that! So many innocent people won't get to hear the podcast! That's it. Are yeah. you ready for this mission, Zach Reeves? That's... Um, oh, that was bad. I'm that was... Sandro Bullock. It's easy for my <laughs> name. Hard hey, Sandro, for yours. Sandro Bullock? Yeah, I, I'm okay with this. I get to be Keanu Reeves. I'm very, yeah. very okay with Zachary this. Zachary Reeves. Zachary Reeves? Uh, um, uh, it can work. It can right. work. Well, you know, because this is like a K. Yeah. This, um, Zach, wait. Yeah. Is like, no. Uh, okay. Well, yeah, that's where we're reviewing speed. Uh, that's the intro to speed. <laughs> You're welcome. the intro to this episode for some reason. Yeah. Uh, the podcast is Oldie But A Goodie. My name is Zach. That's... No, fuck. <laughs> I <laughs> don't know what happened. I don't know what I'm happened. Sick. We're laughing. This is this is Sandro. I'm this Sandro. Um, <laughs> that was good. We're reviewing Speed. That. This is this is the podcast where we're Ooh, watching movies what an from. Intro. Um, we're what watching, an intro. It's so good. We're watching movies from 1994 in the order that it came out 25 in. 25 years ago. Yep. They're, they're, it's, every film we review turns 25 when we talk about it. Yeah, it's good. Uh, this is like week two of June movie came out. Week two of yep. June. Yeah. Back in 94. It's speed. It's a real good movie. Speed. It is good. It's got Keanu Reeves. And he gets to be uh, John Wick. Yeah, basically. I chose this movie. Yeah, it's it's a good choice. Thanks. I mean, the other choice was the other choice was uh, toss. So. so, City Slickers Two: The Legend of Curly's Gold was the other choice. Yeah. Apparently, though, we did a little bit of research bef- when we wrapped up yeah, the yeah, last yeah. episode, just to be like, "What is the City Slickers franchise?" Yeah, yeah. The first film was like a huge hit. Yeah, yeah. Like made a lot of money. Like yeah. very popular. Just like um, <clears throat> Three Ninjas. Yeah. And was probably good. We're not gonna watch that no. one. Yeah, it's like Three Ninjas. Like, the first one was good, the second one not. Not good at all. Apparently, the reviews for yeah. 2 was awful. Yeah, so I'm glad we didn't do that one. Yeah, really, really glad. And we de- instead yeah. did uh, Speed. Yeah. Is there anything else to get out of the way before we jump into it? Probably nope. not. Nope. Uh, Keanu Reeves um, is in it. Uh, he's good. Yeah. And uh, it's a fun action movie. It's very young. Everyone's young in this movie. And everybody remembers, you know, you gotta go 50 miles per hour, otherwise yeah. the bomb explodes. You wow. didn't actually realize that this was that yeah, film no, when I, you first chose I, I've it. I've never seen it. I've never seen Speed before. So it was actually funny that I was like, oh, this is where this is from. <laughs> huh. Well, there you go. That'd be a good shows surprise. Me, yeah, yeah. Shows me doing research on the movies. I don't. I don't do any it doesn't. research. It doesn't. I like that you don't, though. Yeah, it's Because I go it's into it knowing everything, take. and you go into it knowing nothing. It's, it's a fresh take. Yeah, that's, see, that's my angle. Yeah. You know, that's my angle. Because we're, yep, we know what we're doing. Woo! Uh, so it was released June 10th. Yep. It's directed by Jan de Bont. Good work. It's a good name, it's isn't good. it? Yeah. Yep. Uh, it's his first ever directorial Really? Effort. Yep. Really? This was his first film? Yeah, the first this one. This is an iconic film. And he's only done a handful of movies since then. That's crazy. Let's see if you've heard any of any of them. Well, he peaked here, so... Yeah, well, yeah. Twister was his follow-up. Again, he peaked... Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. I completely agree with <laughs> yeah. you. Twister um, is um overrated. I just don't like his Aston movies in general. Yeah, I mean... It's hard to do. I feel like it's like disaster movies is a bad genre in yeah. general. You need to make like Godzilla mm. disaster movie. Those are good movies because you've got something like crazy like yeah. Godzilla. Whereas like, if yeah. it's like, oh, it's a twister and it's picking up cows. Yeah. Um, no, no, no. What you need to do is some sort of twist on that. Instead of cows, yeah. have like uh, you know, something sharks. Like sharks. Have like sharks. Inside yeah, a twister. Yeah, yeah. That, now that, there's a franchise That there. would be a good movie. We could probably get six films out of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. We would milk that hardcore. <laughs> Just milk those films. Yeah. We could get some B-list. Uh, yep. D-list? D-list? How about uh, the lead actor from 90210 and uh, Tara Reid? <laughs> Perfect. Cool. That's like G-list. Perfect. <laughs> he also did Speed 2, 
Uh, the yep. Haunting, which is the 90s adaptation of the book that was recently turned into The Haunting of Hill House on Netflix. Well, there you go. Uh, so he did that. And uh, the last film he ever directed was Lara Croft Tomb Raider 2, which I maintain is better than the first. Yep, that's fair. Because it knows it's trash. <laughs> nice. Good I stuff. Think, I think... Um, I heard both of them were not great. Oh, they're not so good I, films. So I didn't they're see terrible. Them. Yeah, but the you know, second one's better than the first yeah. one. So... In my opinion, a lot of people disagree. Okay. Uh, for the stars, Keanu Reeves. He plays a guy called Jack. We'll just call him Keanu Reeves. Yep. Um, his buddy is Jeff Daniels. Sandra Bullock plays Annie. I guess this was her breakout <laughs> role. It's probably like one of like you know? yeah. She but... did a lot of like small films before this, but this yeah. was where it was like she's a movie star now. So that's yeah, cool. yeah. It was she was good. good. She yep. was good. And you got Dennis Hopper as the villain, whose name is Payne. So I'm going to call him Payne the whole yeah, film. Yeah, Payne's That's Payne's a good great. name. Payne is a great name for yeah. a villain. Oh, hello, Mr. Payne. Are you a villain? No, no. Not a villain here. Totally a good Not a guy. villain with the name Payne at all. Someone is... Co- fuck. Um, <laughs> no I calls put, at all. No calls. I put my number on the internet. Now everyone's calling me. What's yeah, going yeah, yeah. on? It's almost but, like that was a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, what? Never. Always putting your number on the internet oh, is a great they idea. They left a voicemail. That's nice of them. I'll <laughs> oh boy, get let's to it check later. that out later. Yeah, we'll put it live on... No. Yeah, we'll uh, put it on after this. We'll see what that is. Anyway. So, uh, yeah, Payne's a good name. Yeah. 93% on Rotten Tomatoes. That's a pretty decent score. Highest so far. Yeah. Look, Particularly. it's very high for an action movie. Yeah, I would probably... Yeah. It's like a pretty good action film. I I don't really disagree with any of the mm. plot, and it has pretty good like the twists. acting's kind of hammy, but maybe that's the point. Yeah, it's but part I, of the charm. I'm, but, I probably yeah. would rate it an eighty-seven. Ooh, eighty-seven. It had only cost them thirty million to make. Thirty million. What do you think it? it oh, two hundred mil minimum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Minimum. Yeah, uh, five hundred mil. That's my guess. Oh, that's, that's a little mil. high. That's, that's a that's little a high. Little right. high. Considering that it's four, R-rated in America, that's pretty that's high. true. So like four thirty-six. That's uh, three hundred and fifty million. Ah, which is still very good. Fifty. Yeah, yeah. No. That's um. That's, that's very a good. A lot of money. Yeah. It also won a bunch of Oscars. Yep. Uh, for the best sound editing and best sound mixing. Okay. Which is basically the Academy being like, hey, you are a popular movie. Here's two awards that we yep. give to films that were popular, but we don't think they're art because we're old. And yeah, 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 no. It was good. I did notice the effects, some of the special effects. The explosions were great. The explosions were very good. Because they were like real explosions yeah. that they did. But the effects were great. They didn't hold up. I don't know if you noticed. Are you talking about the intro with the bad 90s CGI font? uh, No, not even that. It's the elevator scene with the crane and stuff. Oh, yeah, that wasn't great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) And the bus when it does a jump over that. Oh, that was really bad. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, we'll get to that because that Um, was, oh my God. I also loved every moment that the train was in, all the exterior shots of the train that were so clearly just, just like, a model train oh, right. CGI yeah, 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 yeah. onto like a onto yeah, a scene. Yeah, yeah. Um, just like just blue screen right on. Great effects, great effects. But um, you gotta but for the most them a part, bit. yeah. Considering that most of this film takes place on a bus, which means they shot it on a soundstage. That's yeah. pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty good. Yeah, I know. It was, it, it was funny though. Yeah, but anyway, how does the film start? So, uh, I've already gone over the entire film pretty much at this point. But pretty much. we are introduced to some guy doing work on a thing, and the guy's mm. like, you can't be here. And so he kills him. He's like, nothing personal, but I'm going to blow up some things, so I yeah. need to kill you. That's right. Don't Never comes up that poor guy getting murdered. No. It's just a good way to start a film. Yeah. yeah. Gotta uh, love, uh, the... It was a pretty violent kill to kick off the movie as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you know, screwdriver. This is shape. R-rated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He says that quote, by the way. Oh, yeah, he does. Um, J- just like every good R-rated movie, during the first kill, yeah. the villain goes, ha, this is R-rated. Didn't that happen in, like, Deadpool? Didn't he have a Probably. line like that? Something? Probably. Don't you love that classic moment in The Predator where yeah. the Predator <laughs> pulls out, out his home ha- helmet, his, like, weird tendril mouth opens, like, this is an R-rated. 
Uh, it's a little weird to give that warning after the kill, not before. Yeah, but whatever, yeah, we'll yeah. go with well, it. Well, if you say it before, then they know. Oh, they're gonna kill me. So you, yeah. like, you don't want to. Oh, warn for the someone. sake of the character. Yeah, 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 yeah you course, don't want to. You don't want to warn your opponent before you kill them. No, yeah, that's that's dumb tactics. Um, I mean, it sucks for them because they die. But anyway, anyway. So, uh, bombs go off. Yeah. There's a group of people in an elevator. The bomb goes off in the elevator as it's going down. Yep. The emergency brakes happen. And now it's like a bomb threat. Guy yep. wants money. Yep. Otherwise, he's going to blow up the elevator. The elevator with a bunch of people in it. Yep. And, uh, yeah. And, yeah. This has uh, my favorite line of the film. Yep, same. It has, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it has the... When they get in the elevator, one of the co-workers makes fun of the other one. Uh, whose name is Bob. Mm. He's like, oh, good job, Bob, because he presses the button, even though it's already being pressed. Yeah. So he makes fun of him. He's like, oh, good job, Bob. The The light was on, but maybe you pressing the button fixed it. <laughs> yeah. Once the elevator, you know, like the cables get blown up and it falls and then the emergency brakes happen, he's like, Jesus, Bob, what button did you press? <laughs> <laughs> it's good. great. It's good. That's the best. It's good. Uh, best quote. Uh, so Reeves and Jeff Daniels show up with the rest of the bomb squad and they're like, yeah, we're going to save these hostages because that's yep. what we do as a bomb squad. But Reeves, he doesn't trust. No, no, no. Well, Reeves, no, 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 no. Reeves has a gut feeling. He's got a gut feeling. Yeah, there's That's a lot of a gut good... feelings yeah. at the start there. He's, yeah. He's very gut feeling-y. Um, yeah, he's like, um, oh, even if this guy gets his money, he'll still blow up the elevator. That's why you think that. It's just a gut feeling. It's a gut feeling. Uh, there, is a, there is a quote here, because like, while the... They're told to, like, wait up with the hostages and mm. just sort of hold at position, and they start talking. It's like, all right, here's the situation. You've got uh, a guy uh, who's about to board a plane. He has a hostage, yeah. but he's, like, 200 feet away from you. What mm. do you do? And Keanu Reeves is like, shoot the hostage. And they're yeah. like, what? Well, you shoot the hostage, get rid of it from the equation, and the guy just doesn't know what to do. Yep, and then you get him. yeah. Anyway, then another bomb goes off and the elevator continues to fall. But luckily, yep. Reeves, with his smart gut feeling, has tied the elevator to a crane. Yes, a crane outside. And this is where the effects weren't the highest budget. A little certainly. bit uh, plasticky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Just a, a little bit. Yeah, there's a there's a little bit. Of, the effects aren't great. The, the explosions is where the money was put. Yeah. They're great explosions. They're pretty Very good. Very good explosions. But a lot of the, like, the model work is a little bit. Well, yeah, no, it's 90s stuff. It was, yeah. it was funny. The uh, elevator manages to sort of stay up... Mm. Um, they get the hostages out just in time just before in the time. wire snaps. And then Reeves has another gut feeling. Yeah, this is a, another <laughs> gut feeling. My gut tells me that he's that he's here. Yeah. Because he, he wants to be close to the situation. He's monitoring. Uh, he must be in this building. Where could he be? Well, he can't be in the elevators. We check the elevator. What about the service elevators? Da, da, da. And so they go to scope out the service elevator. Yep. Jeff Daniels jumps down into the, the service elevator and Payne's like, ha ha, gotcha now, you're my hostage. And he hits him. And yep. then he carries him by his nose for a couple seconds. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. a little weird. It was just to get him up. Anyway. It's, yeah, but by the nose. I mean, rude. Look, Certainly it's rude. A, it's a bit rude. You could have done the hair. Classic 80s action film. Oh, yeah, grab, grab the hair. Yeah, grab Maybe, the hair. Look... He's wearing a full vest, grab him by the vest. But no, he just goes straight for the nose. Two fingers each nostril uh, and pull no, him up no, by he the doesn't. nose. He, he does like the gotcha nose. Thing. That's what I saw. It was like this. Uh-huh, it was sure. like a claw. That is, it was like a claw. Just be glad you can't see Sandro right now because he's visually yeah. posing it for me. It's, it's not very pleasant. painful. Oh, no. I can't uh, imagine please, being please carried just stop. like that. Anyway, so the bad guy has uh, Keanu Reeves' yeah. uh, friend hostage. Yeah, Reeve shoots the hostage yeah, in he, the leg. Yeah, he shoots him in the leg. And the guy's like, what? Oh, no. Oh, oh no, no, you shot him, you, you dingus. Oh, and no. then the bad guy makes his getaway before yeah. letting off a giant explosion. Supposedly, like, Blum is... Yeah. yeah, and they're like, yay, he died. Woo, 
we stopped him. We're the best. Woo woo woo. It's right. And they all get awarded medals. Yeah, they get awarded medals. Now that scene was like a quarter of the movie. Yeah, yeah. That was a very long sequence. Yeah, I forgot yeah. how long the opening is. It's, it, yeah. Um, but it's cool because they make like a comment. He, you get a medal for, I get a medal for, you know, saving all these hostages. You mm. get a model, medal for shooting me. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's great. That's good. And Jeff Daniels is like, oh, no, now I've just got to, now I'm just doing desk work. Oh, this sucks. Yep. What am this I... sucks. Oh. You shot my leg. You shot my leg. Even I'm though... going to turn into a villain. He... Well, no, he... he no, he says that. that. He says that as a quote. That's right. He says those exact <laughs> words. Um, um, there's this whole kind of like story arc with Reeves's character where it's like, you're too gutsy. You're going to you're gonna oh, yeah, get yeah. innocents killed. Oh! It's like, you know, we, you can't live on guts forever. Yeah. We got lucky today, but they didn't get lucky today, as it turns out. Yeah. Because as Reeves is going to get his coffee, his coffee and his muffin. And Don't his muffin. forget the muffin. Don't forget his muffin. Because he forgets the muffin. Yeah. Um, the bus explodes outside. Yeah, so he's in a cafe and his mate, his good friends with the bus driver on he that bus. He knows the bus seems. driver. Yeah. You know the you know the local bus driver yeah. if you no, take the bus. I don't. Uh, well, you've seen him. No. Uh, all right. I, I, this I is purposely like get get on at the middle door, so I don't uh-huh. have to look at the bus. You're driver. not supposed to get on the middle door. That's well, the I exit do. door. I get on the middle door because wow. I'm I'm a rebel. Uh huh. I'm arresting you, right? What happens when you live in the north western suburbs? Uh huh. All right. <laughs> uh, very, very <laughs> rebel. Um, um, so yeah, the bus explodes. Cool effects. Very good explosion. Yeah, the, the explosions are outrageous and beautiful. Yeah. Love them. I'm pretty sure they actually lit a bus on fire as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it, good. It's very good. Uh, uh, there was a sound effect of smashing glass, which was like literally the sound effect of them throwing glass and it smashing. Okay. I could literally <laughs> tell there by were... the way the sound effect worked. It was great. I loved it. There were a few shoddy audio moments in this film. It was fine. There's a few times where they just I casually like... like overdub someone's dialogue. And yeah. don't try to make it match up with their mouth. This is a it's couple fine. times where that happens. It's fine. This it's is a great. couple sound effects that are a little bit. Um, but it's so good. It's good. then um, he gets a phone call. There's a one of the a, a classic mm. movie trope is one of the phone booths. Yeah. Just starts ringing, and of course the action hero is like. Well, that must be for me. Yeah. I go over there, I pick it up. Oh, it's the bad guy. He's not dead. Yeah, surprise. I'm pain. I'm not dead. Now yeah. I'm going to explain the plot of the movie to you. You see the bomb on that bus? I planted another bomb on another bus. Yep. You want to know the rules of the bombs? I'll tell you anyway. Yep. The bomb gets armed if the bus goes over 50 miles per hour. Then it goes off. If the bus drops below 50 miles an hour. Which, to be fair, very cool concept. Yeah. It was good. a good good it's movie good. concept. Good on you. Yeah. Good on you, director. It was a good movie. It's a good comedic. gimmick. And it works very yeah. well. It's very fun. Yeah. Um, everybody's on board. He's also like, hey, you try to get any passages off the bus? I'll blow it up. Also, I want my money. Three million dollars. Give it to me in Mark three hours. Kitchen. Yeah. His character arc is he's like super righteously crazy, but also he's like, yeah, I just kind of want money for my retirement. Yeah, the villain storyline is interesting. It's, it's interesting because he's like a retired cop because he, he was part of the bomb disposal. Yeah. But he got an injury trying to dispose a bomb and then they just sort of fired him. And gave him a watch. Yeah, and gave him a watch, and he's like, I'm not happy with this. No. I want more money. So, I'm going to go be a bad guy now. Yeah. If this was made today, the villain would have this huge tragic storyline. Oh, yeah, whatever. And yeah. they'd try to make you feel bad for no, him. No, I, I, I wish they could have done this, but made him just more... Yeah, I just kind of want money. <laughs> yeah. Just be like, yeah, I want money. Stuff him, <laughs> you know? That would have been funny. That would have been great. But yeah. Instead, so Keanu Reeves, he hops in his car, chases down the bus. The bus doesn't stop for him. Mm. Um, and it's slowly speeding up, getting to that 50. Oh, it goes over the 50 miles per hour. Now he has to get on and stop them from slowing down. Yep. So he, he steals a guy's car. He steals a guy's car and the license plate is Tune Man. Yeah, no, the car's great. The guy's great. Very yep. big fan. Best character in this film mm. is definitely this guy very, who gets his car stolen. Very good character. 
So uh, he uses the car to get close up to the bus. The people yep. on the bus are like, who is this guy? This guy's crazy. There's he this... must really want the bus. Yeah. Th- there's this... <laughs> get it? Because he's, he's trying to get on the bus. He must really need the bus. <laughs> there's this one quote Hilarity. where this guy's like, man... That man sure has a hard on for the bus. But, yeah, no. It's, <laughs> it's like, okay. I love it. <laughs> Whatever you're into, man. No, but like, yeah, no, that's a that's a good quote. But yeah, Reeves is like, hey, driver, man, there's a bomb on the bus. You got to stay above fifty miles per hour. Yeah. And then he jumps on the bus, and yeah, we never see the... Tune Man ever again. Yeah, Tune Man then crashes into some water barrels and wrecks his car, which yeah. is very upsetting. It's Poor a tragic, it's a tragic tra- loss. Ah, uh, but there's a good ending. He had insurance. <laughs> did have injured. That uh, Keanu Reeves asks him first, which yep. is nice. So, yeah. Um, uh, Keanu Reeves is on the bus. He has a fight with one of the bus passengers. Yeah, one of the passengers just randomly brings out a gun yeah. and starts firing shots off. It's like some random criminal who's freaking out who thinks it's like the police is after him. Um, that makes sense. Yes. Because we never really... See we that get, character again. After we see him this. once after because he he handcuffs him. Yeah, and you see him one time after where he unhandcuffs him. Yeah, and he's like, "Oh man, I'm sorry that I shot the driver because he shoots the driver." Yeah, by accident. So, and yeah. it's like, yeah, I can excuse silly fun action movies yeah, for yeah, having yeah, yeah, right. just, I'm, I'm, just little characters. No, I there. think that's, I think that's fine. I'm just yeah. saying we shouldn't dwell on it because it's nothing. Yep. Um, <laughs> so, uh, Sandra Bullock... Because the movie didn't dwell on it either. <laughs> no. Sandra Bullock, she takes over the driving. Yes, because the driver's, uh, dying. Yep, the driver's I was going to say shot. dead, because I wanted to be more tragic, but he's not. No. It's an important that he's not. And she's like, uh, oh, Keanu Reeves, you're a cop, right? I should probably tell you that I had my license revoked. He's like, what for? Oh, for speeding. Ha! That, I love that. That's that's funny, actually. I like that. And he's like, good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's good. <laughs> it's funny because she needs to speed right now because yeah. if they go under 50 miles per hour, they all die. Also, that's the title of the movie. What? Speed? What? Yeah. No. But yeah, they hit some traffic and they, you know, they have a little panic scene. Oh yeah. no, traffic. They're going to have to slow down. So they, they get off the, the main highway. They mm. crash into lots of things. It's a, it's yeah. a lot of public damage. She hits a baby. Oh wait, fake out. Oh yeah, yeah no, that was, that was great. Like, lady, look before you cross the street. Yeah. Yeah, that was a great fake out where they had like a baby carriage, but the baby carriage was full of cans. Yep. <laughs> There was a lot of cans in that baby <laughs> carriage. Jesus, lady. Huh? Oh, she had dear. a drinking problem. They drive on a empty highway. They manage to get off yeah. onto like a highway that isn't being used at the moment. Mm. Um, so they're driving on that for a while. They yeah. negotiate to get the bus driver off. He's like... Yeah, you know you said no, nobody gets off, but can we just get the bus driver off because yeah. he got shot? And then the bad guy's like, ha ha, Keanu Reeves, why are you going around shooting hostages? <laughs> you idiot. And Keanu Reeves is like, oh. Yeah. And, um, and then they get the bus driver off. Yep, they get him off. But one of the other passengers is like, I also want to get yeah, off. Yeah, lady is stupid. And so she goes to the side of it. She attempts to jump off, but... But, but the bad guy's but, like, nah. Blow that up. Yep, and he blows up. It's just like the the stairway. Yeah. It just has like a small thing there, so that blows yeah. up if they try and get the passengers off. So she falls down and gets hit by a tire and probably dies. Yeah, no, she dies. Yeah. She's very dead. Yeah. It's very tragic. And then um, everyone on the bus is like, oh, I don't like that. They argue for a bit. Yeah, no, then they, they yeah, they start arguing a bit. But then they get the call from the, the bye, lieutenant. Bye, man. The lieutenant is like, we just found out that three miles ahead, the road isn't finished. What? There's but a f- on the map it says it's finished. Well, yeah. they're slacking. Ah, oh, no. There's a 50 feet gap. And Keanu Reeves is like, all right, floor it. We're gonna jump it. Yeah. Uh, and this is, this is like 50 feet. And we see before they have this jump scene. We see that it's like perfectly aligned. It's yeah. straight. There's no jump. No. It's like flat. Yeah. So we know for a fact that if the bus even like moves slightly, it's got to tip downward and then just slam and crash. Yeah. But somehow by going super fast, <laughs> they manage to like leap and the effect is 
It's the worst it's effect of this It's a very, movie. very bad yeah, like, jump it, effect. It's but it's terrible. kind of funny. And oh, also, it's... of course they were going to do this with the bus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is yeah. no way this wasn't going to be a plot point. Yeah, but, like, the way they filmed it was terrible. Like, yeah. we see the jump beforehand, and the jump, there's no way, <laughs> there's no way they would make that at all in any yeah. circumstances whatsoever. But of course, somehow, by some goddamn miracle, they make this. <laughs> I thought they were going to do something else. Like, they fall off, but it somehow lands on a construction thing. And yeah. it just sort of lands and keeps going somehow. No. no. They managed to make this jump. And I was like, nah, that, that is bus. a uh, no from me, dog. <laughs> that is, Look, look it's very unrealistic. I could not but... believe that worked. The then, highway that they're on, it leaves to the LA airport. And he's like, oh. Get off here. We'll go to the airport. Perfect. Yeah. So they get on a runway. That way they can just keep driving around. No distractions. Yeah, in, in big circles, which is yeah. smart. Good yeah. old smart Reeves. He's like, oh, i got a gut feeling that we should go to the airport. Oh, yep. i got a gut feeling we should just drive around. He's got them gut feelings. Every time he opens his mouth to say yeah. a line, he says, i got a gut feeling. Uh, mm. I'm going to kill you. i got a gut feeling. I've I'm got... Gonna- I've got a gut feeling that I'm going to call the bad guy right now. All right, I'm yep. calling the bad guy. And then I we get a scene yep. that is so bad because it's so obvious that they've overdubbed every single thing that Dennis Hopper says mm-hmm. because his mouth is moving and the words that you're hearing don't match up with the way his mouth is moving. I didn't actually notice it, ha- it happens for the whole scene. It is like very quickly edited, so it's hard to notice. Right. I didn't notice it at all. But, so good, yeah. good on you um, noticing it. But at, at the same time, it's shot in the style of an 80s action film. And I love yeah. when 80s action films do just yeah, dumb yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah, this yeah, and try yeah. to hide it. So I'm cool with it. Meanwhile, his best buddy friend is in the office trying to figure out who it is. Yeah. And they find out who it is. Oh, it's the Mr. Payne. Yeah. Mr. Payne No Hand. Mr. Payne No Hand. <laughs> Mis- full name. Yeah, full name. Full name. Yeah. Mr. Payne No Hand. Uh, uh, they're like, oh, we know where his house is. So he's like, don't worry about the bomb. Yeah. We'll go kill him. But then we get the scene where Jeff Daniels goes over to where he thinks Payne lives. Yeah. And this scene is shot so well. Yeah, it's a very really well good. shot scene. It's a very obvious sort of trap. Yeah. Um, uh, he blows up. Yeah, the whole house blows up. And Which is great. Inside. Yeah, no, it's it's really cool. I'm a uh, big fan of the scene. Because it's like, oh, it's yeah, good. no, yeah, the bomber was one step ahead of yep. them. And also, the main character just died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeff Daniels, great actor. They were just like, nah, we'll get rid of you. Keanu Reeves then sort of figures out that there's a camera mm. on the bus. I have a gut feeling that there's a camera on here. I've I have also, a gut yeah. feeling that he's been playing us the whole oh, time. I've also got a gut feeling that there's no audio on that camera and he can just see us. Yes, I've also got a... Oh, yeah, no, that he, he does have a feeling that he... Because he's been talking with him. That's how he figures it out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he also has a gut feeling that his friends die. Also, he gets a call saying that his friend's dead. No, he feels it in the force. Feel a great disturbance in the force. Like, a couple of guys cried out and then were blown up. <laughs> uh, so he tells the lieutenant to turn off all news feeds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that are broadcasting images of the bus. Yeah, yeah. And then record a little bit of the bus feed with them all yeah, looking out the, the footage. window. Yep. Hijack that footage, then loop it. Which is smart. Yeah. It's smart. It's what they do. It is good. When they figure out this sort of stuff's happening. Yeah. Um, so they managed to use one one of the news crew's mm. uh, vehicles to tap into the uh, footage. Yeah. And then make a uh, short loop. Uh, yeah. Luckily, Payne was in the toilet. Yeah, he didn't notice. And then so he's he... also watching football. Yeah, and he's yeah he's watching football. He's having yeah. a great time. He's great. he's down in a few cold ones with yeah, the boys. Yeah, with the you boys, know? He's the boys over. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, having yeah. a great time. That's he's, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, so they take the opportunity to get all the passengers off. Yeah, they get the hostages off. Fantastic. All of them, aside from of course the two mains. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the two main leads. Uh, then they have to make a daring escape. Yeah. Uh, uh, they manage to, like, surf on a piece of metal out of there. It's very cool. And then the the bus hits a plane and explodes. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> and it's a big-ass explosion. And they spend, like, two minutes just with this explosion. It's great. I love it. It's I was good. like, 
it was the perfect amount of time that they spent on this very dramatic yeah. explosion. Yeah. And it was a very dramatic explosion. Very nice. It was good. Very happy with that. So then they're like, all right, we'll go and we'll put the money in the drop-off point. There's a tracker on it. So when yep. Payne gets it, we'll know where he is and arrest him. Yep. You know, they drop off the money. Yeah. But they have the sniper towers all around. But he he's in a building nearby and he mm. can see them. And he's like, ha ha, you idiots. Yeah. You dumbos. You thought you could f- pull a fast one on me? Well, I invented fast ones. Look at the the whole film up until now. It's been f- Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fast and film. Keanu Reeves is like, I'm getting a sense in the force. Yeah. I'm having a, a vision. There's something wrong. Activate the tracker. One would say I might have some sort of feeling in my gut. Whoa. Uh, turns out, and then they see the track is moving. Yeah. He's got the money. What? And they're like, how that happened? So they go over to the garbage bin where he where he was where they meant dropped to the drop money. off the money. And there's a hole underneath. Oh, he drilled through the sewers and got to the, the thing and what? stole the money. And there's like, oh, I've got to go chase after him now. So he does. And then it's revealed that the Sandra Bullock actually has the money. Yeah, no, she's oh, been held dumb. hostage. This is the, this is the part that I really hated of the film is that the bad guy just walked over to her and like kidnapped her. <laughs> oh, I was very mad. I was like, just stay inside the vehicle. <laughs> that was very silly. Just don't trust this idiotic man as he yeah. walks over to you. If she had run at that point, she would have just been fine. Probably. Oh, well. But no, uh, she's in. A bomb vest, he's got a dead man switch, which means he's got to hold it down the whole time or the bomb yep. vest will go off. He then takes a train hostage. Yep. Uh, shoots the train driver. It's Very rude. Gets rid of him. Poor, poor train poor driver, driver guy. You know? He's on... Tragic loss. A small amount of money. Working like, in LA. Working yeah. on the subway in LA. Not making much money. He's an yeah. aspiring actor. Aspiring uh, social media influencer. Yes, of yep. course. And he just gets shot. Or and or SoundCloud rapper. Um, <laughs> and or a podcaster. Yeah, uh, he gets shot down. <laughs> ends his misery. <laughs> SoundCloud. So rapper. good on him. Oh, uh, his SoundCloud songs would have been so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just all about how sad he is. Yeah, That's yeah. The only thing he really. Raps yeah, he about. does like emo metal slam rap. Emo metal slam rap. <laughs> Yep. Well, Slam poetry. So I'm so. in the subway. Things the suck. way I'm feeling is not very good way. <laughs> and then you have the... <laughs> yeah. In the background. It's it, it's like an original concept. It's true. <laughs> so then... He hears that Keanu Reeves is on the roof of the train. Yep. As so he you tries do. to shoot him. Yep. Then for some reason, he just goes up on top of the train. Because yeah. of course they have to fight on top of the train. Of course. It's an action movie. Of course. Of course. Um, it's an action movie about going fast. You oh, yeah. That. This is... Oh. This might be my favourite quote. Uh, but anyway. Um, then they have like a battle on top. Where... Oh, I know what your quote is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's great. It's a great yeah, quote. Yeah, yeah. They're having a battle on top and he's like... I've been smarter. I've been every move ahead of you. I'm smarter. I'm better. I'm thing. But then Keanu Reeves just sort of holds him up because mm. they're on top of the train going through a tunnel. There's yeah. like a, a like a sign thing that yeah. goes by. Yeah. And it just sort of smacks into the guy's head and yeah. like lops his head off. It's <laughs> it's very graphic. It's yeah. very graphic. And Keanu Reeves is like, yeah, well, I'm taller. <laughs> which is... It's a great line. Yeah. Uh, and then he goes back down and is like, oh, it's all good, Sandra Bullock. He lost his head. Yep. Yep. Uh, where's the bad guy? Oh, he lost his head, you know. Yeah. But uh, then they realise the train track isn't finished. Yep. There is a 50... And of course the brakes don't work <laughs> for no reason co- whatsoever. I don't think he even tries the brakes. But of so course he, they yeah. don't work. So he's like, we've got no options. We've got to jump off the train. But Except geez. you're in handcuffs and I don't have the keys. I have a gut feeling that you're in handcuffs. Oh, and I no. have a gut feeling that we can't jump it. So I have a gut feeling that I'm going to speed up the train. Yes. And she's like, what? What are you he's doing? He's like, I'm going to speed it up so that we get derailed. Yeah. yeah. Smart, smarty, smarty pants. And then he gets a gut feeling that it's a very bumpy ride as they get <sighs> derailed. And then they crash onto a road, and yep. oh, yeah. they're there. They're amazing special effects. Yes. Comes in. The you, train yeah. effects are so obviously a model train. 
But whatever. It's, it's good. Fun. No, no. I, I, I thought it wasn't too bad. I thought yeah. it was good. It wasn't as bad as the bus jump. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, so, yeah. yeah the they... train crashes, but they somehow survive. Yep. Of course. Um, uh, well, because like, it kind of like comes to like a slow and, stop. And then they're and then like, over. let's get into a relationship. And they make yeah, out, yeah, yeah, and then yeah. everyone on the road stares at them. And <laughs> yeah, really claps. creepily. And also, claps it's like... and takes pictures. Yeah, it was real creep. It but was that's good. the end. Yeah. That's the film. They survived. Good. It was a good film. I yeah. really enjoyed it. I it was is like, good. This is a fun film. I love... Uh... I have a gut feeling mm. that I like this film. I've got a gut feeling that... I Yeah, it's... So fun. Yeah, it's a good action film. It's great. It's a great movie. Yeah, uh, really. I really enjoyed it. It's a good it. action boy. Um, it's been a while since I've last seen it. Probably like eight years or something. Yeah. So it's good to return to it and be like, this is fun. I enjoy this. I have a gut feeling I'm going to rate it a goodie. I've got a gut feeling that I'm also going to rate it a goodie. Wow. Wow. So what are you rating it? Uh, an Oli. Uh, no. <laughs> wow. Slammed. It is a goodie. Yeah, um, if you haven't seen it, you should definitely see it. That's, definitely check it so out. So I have I have to give it a goodie if I'm like, you got to go see it if you yeah. haven't seen it. I feel like if they were to remake this, because one of oh, the, yeah. the reasons why we rate things Oli's if, if it was made today, would it be better? If this was made today, it'd be so much worse. Yeah, no, actually, you're right. It would be so much worse. They're yeah. just, yeah, it would be lame. It would be like a CGI fest. Uh, They'd try to make you care about every single person on the bus. Uh, it would just be like, oh, come on. I just want a fun action movie. Yeah. Um, you're right. Yeah, yeah no, it'd be terrible nowadays. <laughs> I'm so glad we have older action films, which, yeah. are, which are cheesy and good. Yeah, it's good. And enjoyable. It's just like The Crow. Would you say it's better than The Crow? Ah, uh, ooh, that's interesting. Because I would probably put them both on the same level. Yeah, I'd put them in, the, in like same level because they've yeah. got that sort of iconicness that is reflected in mm. uh, today's movies nowadays. So, yeah, like I think there's some classic movies. I'm, I'm not sure which one I like better. Yeah, same. Not sure. Go watch it. If you haven't seen it, go see it. If you have Definitely seen it, see it, you can watch it again if you want. You don't have to though. Mm. Uh, all right. Now it's time for our world famous segment. We pitch a sequel and or spin-off yeah. to the movie we just saw. There was yeah. an actual sequel and or spin-off, which we'll get to after we pitch ours. Oh, you want you want to pitch first? We can pitch first. What what if I accidentally somehow managed to get the entire sequel plot? That would be amazing. Uh, but probably not true. Probably not. Because the, they went in a weird direction for the second one. <laughs> okay, all right. That's fair. <laughs> Um, well, my sequel is a very obvious sequel. Okay. It's a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So the lady, she turns evil for some reason. Sandra Bullock? Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> no, actually, my sequel was the uh, best friend. He survives the explosion. Jeff Daniels, okay. Yeah, Jeff Daniels. Um, he survives the explosion. Nice. But he's left deformed. Oh, no. That means he can't be in the bomb squad. Yes. I've he's... got a gut feeling that he's going to turn evil. <laughs> yeah. He, he gets sent to retirement, and he's very bitter about this. He's mm. like, I can still do my job. And they're like, nope. And he's like, you know what? The first bomber was right. Um, so I'm going to do the exact same thing. Oh, no. Uh, except this time, it's going to be a bomb on an aeroplane. And if the aeroplane lands... It explodes. Look, okay. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> hang on. So, <laughs> if you try and get anybody off the plane, I'll blow up the plane. Okay. And it's a take by take remake of the first <laughs> film. <laughs> um, <laughs> and it's really bad. I mean, like, um, I guess that the plane would the run out of fuel it. quicker than a yeah. bus. It just so happens that Keanu Reeves just happens to be on this flight. Of course he does. Mm -hmm. But it's with his like his new family and his kids are there as well. That's cool. That's, That's the cool. entire sequel. It's terrible. It gets like a 10% on Rotten <laughs> Tomatoes. It is like bad. And the, the the special effects are even worse. Okay. Somehow. Like, like yeah, it's like the mo they're very CGI. Yeah. There's like, there's less corny jokes. They have all these tragic characters. No one dies. There's yeah. like literally no deaths. No one gets hurt. <laughs> Everything's fine in the end. All it's right. like nothing happened. Wow, nice. All right. Well, my idea is uh, yep. also terrible. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the character, the Tune Man. Oh, that um, guy. Oh, right, 
right. Yeah, that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You said you were going to yeah. make a thing. That That's a good character. I like him. Yeah, so he's the guy who Keanu Reeves, he steals his car to try and get on the bus. And yep. then when he gets on the bus, Jim may crash his car, but he had insurance. Yes. So my idea is there is another situation uh-huh. uh, with a train. So the train's ah, going to stay above train, a certain amount of right. time. A certain speed. They gotta get to the stations on time, otherwise yep. it explodes. Otherwise it explodes. Can't get anyone off the train or it explodes. Aside what from an original concept. Very original. Keanu Reeves is like, oh, I know what to do. I've done this before. I'm gonna go on that train. He goes yep. on the train, immediately gets killed off. Yes! Perfect! Thank God. So we go for like a G.I. Joe 2 sort of approach where all the main characters from the first one immediately dead. Nice. Straight up. I love start. it. Big fan. And the lieutenant is like, oh no, we need someone who's got experience with fast things. We need someone who was in the vicinity of Keanu Reeves at some point in his life and was able to learn the gutness of him. Oh, right, yeah. There is one man, and that man is the Tune Man. Yeah, the Tune Man, who at some point became best friends with Keanu Reeves. Exactly, off screen. Yeah, off screen. They are best friends. Um, also, Sandra Bullock is not in this movie. Yes. Because no, they she don't... is too good of an actress to be in this Yeah, film. no, no, no. They get some other D-list yeah. actor. They do a Transformers 3 and they're like, yeah, is there a new girlfriend off screen? Yeah, yeah. There's a new girl. <laughs> Played by Megan Fox. Yeah, yeah, Megan she Fox. She also dies on the train. <laughs> Thank God. Um, um, then it's just perfect. Tune Man. He is left to just basically do the whole first film, except it's a train. So that is my idea. That's good. You could say, hey, does this train have insurance? And (laughs) the guy's like, no, the train's not insured. Well, that's a shame. Jumps off train. (laughs) Train explodes. Great stuff. Great stuff. Big fan. That is that. What they actually did in Uh 1997 was Speed 2 Cruise Control. That's right. It's speed on a boat. Oh damn! Hey, that's one of the few things that weren't shown in this exactly. film. That's great. Uh, uh, so Jan de Bont returned as director and also wrote it. Nice. Sandra Bullock reprised her role. Uh, uh-huh. She broke up with Keanu Reeves off screen, got a new partner off screen, and they're oh, both no. in this film. That's not good. It's it's just them on a boat and they got to keep the boat above it. So no, it's the same film. Critically panned. <laughs> yep, no, that, that I was about to say. How terrible was it? And uh, it was. At the time, people hated it. But weirdly, I've talked to a lot of pe- people now who really like it. Oh, So okay. it's kind of got a cult following. Cult following, okay. But I've never seen it. I might ch- check it out. It could be fun. Yeah, maybe. Um, it was meant to cost $110 million, uh-huh. but they went over budget. Yep. And it cost them $150 million. Oof. And only made $160 million. <laughs> They, they, at least they got above the yeah. threshold. I mean, but, um, they made 10 million. Hmm. That's all right. That's, that's, that's that. speed. That's it. Us. Like us on Facebook. Uh, send your reviews to iTunes. <laughs> We're not on SoundCloud. iTunes is um, probably dead by the time we release this. Oh, really? They're killing off iTunes. So uh, whatever the replacement is, Apple Podcasts, review us on that. Yeah, look uh, look up us on uh, the Tune Tunes. The, the what? The, that's what they're going to call it. <laughs> oh, the, they're going to call it uh, Apple mu- Music. Apple Music, but also Podcasts is yeah, the full yeah. title. Yeah. Go look up. Yeah, go look, review, uh, review us there. YouTube. You We're can, on YouTube. In the meantime, go on YouTube and be like, "Man, I hate using YouTube for podcasts. This sucks. Why don't it's you have the podcast?" Annoying. And we'd be like, "Oh, well, 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 well. just get Spotify. Ah, go Spotify. Spotify. Go on the Spotify and be like, yeah. oh, I hate Spotify. I like it better on iTunes. I don't know what well, it's like, like listening to podcasts on like the free version of Spotify. Yeah, that would be terrible. Do ads come in every few? Minutes? I don't know how. Uh, yeah. I'll have to look that up. Yeah, I'm not sure. Anyway. Anyway, uh, we're on that. We're on um, every other podcast platform aside from SoundCloud. I haven't used Instagram in like 10 weeks, so yeah. that's good. Yeah, probably jump on it at some point. Yeah, I won't. Make a post uh, about speed. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I but Adam in the drug, not the movie. Yeah, what? <laughs> um, I have a gut feeling that's a bad idea. I'm relatively active on Instagram, so come say hi. The links are in the description. Also, our Facebook page, if you want to send us feedback, right, enough. message enough. the Facebook page, or email Email us, email in description. All right, we're doing our favorite quotes and favorite quote. Oh wait, no, uh, we, we got to choose what's happening next week. Nope, that was a prank. 
We don't. We don't have a choice for next week. Yep, it's the Lion King. Yeah. Beep, 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 beep. Beep, beep, beep. It doesn't matter what one. else is on. We're watching the Lion King. That's right. Everybody's um, favorite. I've moved all Story other choices. I, what? <laughs> I've moved all other choices to the following week because yep. we're obviously doing Lion King. There's yep. absolutely no reason we wouldn't do Lion King. Yeah. So yeah. it's unfair to all those movies to not get yeah, a chance. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sucks for them. But um, uh, yeah, no, Lion King's great. So yep. we're gonna do that. We'll do that. It'll be a great episode. Uh, but yeah, we end with our favourite quote from Speed. Jesus, Bob. What button did you press? <laughs> it's a that great quote. A good one. I like that one. But there's also, yeah, well, I'm taller. <laughs> which <laughs> is a good. great ending action hero quote. Mm. Um, I just cracked up when Sandra Bullock was like, oh, you're a cop, right? I should probably tell you that I had my driver's license revoked. Mm. For speeding. Wow. <laughs> wow. Bye. <laughs>